Every day, you get ready, eat breakfast, and get yourself out the door to start another day at school. To begin this daily routine, you have to wake up and get out of bed. But do some students actually wake up? You find in high school, many do not. Take naps every now and then. Not a big deal. I mean, you gotta catch up on sleep. When you give me eight years of homework, I don't really have time to be doing that at home. Yeah, I have. Uh, I fall asleep in third hour quite a bit while reading. You know, Mr. Conrad's class just gets so boring sometimes. And it's sixth hour, so I just can't stay awake. I do have a problem staying awake in class sometime. Um, it's tough um, as an athlete to get up pretty early up in the morning and uh, come to school and then to, you know, go eight hours again and then go back and have a practice later at night. So it's pretty tough. Well, I try not to fall asleep in class because I'm just afraid that if I do, my teachers will like look down on me and I just don't want that. Why would you want to sleep in class when you have a great education sitting right in front of you and you have hours upon hours to sleep at night? I just don't understand how people fall asleep in class. It's just so awkward for people to watch you sleep. What if you drool or twitch? It's just so weird. Some students find it difficult to sleep in class. Other students, not so much. Yeah, I, I sleep in class all the time. It doesn't matter like what class it is or who's in there. I feel so comfortable. I can just go put my head down and I fall right asleep. No matter like what day it is or what hour it is, it's no big deal to me. But I don't really care what the teachers think. I'm just pretty tired all the time. My opinion of sleeping in class is I don't like it, but um, I figure it's not my job to keep the kids awake. If they care about the class, then they're going to be awake. If they don't care about the class, it's not my job to wake them up. Lucas, wake up. I don't understand how people can fall asleep sitting at their desks. In fact, I've even had students before in the past who've fallen asleep while sitting up. Yeah. I like to sleep in the hallways when I get kicked out of class. It's more comfortable than uh, just sitting in class, having a teacher yell in your ear and stuff when I'm not trying to do my work. I'm obviously sleep deprived because they give me too much homework to do at night, having a job and everything. So, um, You usually find a knack for it. You find a comfortable position. I mean, if you're smart, you always have like some sort of uh, heavy clothing that you can ball up into a pillow or a blanket. Always helps. Um, if you bring a book bag out, that's always a good pillow. Um, slept out here quite frequently over my four years. Um, depends on the teacher. Some teachers won't ever kick me out. Some teachers like Ms. Boozer will. She kicks me out all the time. Whether it's between homework or working, we're not getting the rest that we need at night. That's half the reason why students have trouble staying awake in class. Uh, adolescents in general should get about nine hours of sleep per night, and I think most of the students at Royal Oak High School are not getting the nine hours their body requires for this incredible phase of brain development that they're going through right now and their body will just try to make up for it any way it can get it and they'll try to do it the next day. So there you have it. All of us students should try a little harder to get just that little bit more sleep at night. Students need to realize that school is a priority and we shouldn't be taking advantage of our classroom time. So make it easier for yourself. Keep your head up. Optimistically, hand off your desk. Trust me, it will really pay off in the long run. And besides, it's only seven hours each day, so make the most of it.